hello. Guys, please don't mind me. I am so bloated. It is my PMS week. Oh, uh, ladies, you know what I'm talking about. I literally have nothing to wear. Nothing. Anyway, let's get the video started. Hey guys, I'm Pam and you are watching. today because it's not my junk day and normally I do my little chat with you guys when it is my junk day uh, but it's not my junk day my junk day is actually tomorrow and today's Friday so yeah I just wanted to do my nails because this is this is what's happening now thank you lockdown now us women have to be like animals and do our own nails I mean what kind of world is this where we have to do our own nails. What is happening to the world? I mean, honestly. Anyway, so, um, yeah, I've been doing my own nails. It's actually kind of cool. Guys, please don't look at my bloated tummy. I think I'm losing all my male subscribers. Yeah, I'm bloated, okay? Look. Oh, so bloated. I actually look pregnant. Look at that. I don't care. I don't care. Find me disgusting. I don't care. I'm bloated. Ladies, you can relate. Look at that look at that meat all of this next week it's gonna be so flat but right now it's there and this is my outfit this is whoo, don't do that this is my outfit this is what i'm wearing and this is my top that's my boobs boom yeah anyway um so i wanted to talk a little bit about my toe fetish okay so in my family i am considered a bit of a toe whisperer now what is a toe whisperer you ask okay first of all i love toes okay i have always loved toes i look at people's toes and i just go insane it's nothing for me it's not a sexual thing at all okay i just love looking at people's toes if i see toes if i see open toes oh my gosh i better not be driving because i'm gonna be driving straight into something or somewhere you know if i see toes i don't know what happens to me i, I go crazy and you know i don't even I, I never remember people's faces or names i'm very bad at that but i can remember your toes so what does that mean that means that i am a toe whisperer i'm a toe whisperer and i can actually tell a lot about someone by just looking at their toes i promise you like i can literally judge a person by looking at their toes be like hmm okay mm-hmm i see that uh-huh uh-huh okay okay yeah i don't want to be friends with you or yeah we're not gonna date mm-hmm mm -hmm. yeah, yeah yeah small one no killed a few people so no 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 next uh okay the the, the looking a bit yeah uh will sleep with someone's husband or boyfriend yeah no no you can go i don't know what it is i don't know where i get it from it is what it is Do you know what i i love all toes because i love those toes with the bunions on the side with the cornrows on there i love all kinds of toes i just love looking at toes but of course if the toes are like really beautiful i do tend to look at it more longer but sometimes when your toes are too beautiful for me that just means that uh the owner of that to those toes are very boring so if you have very beautiful toes you're probably very boring so you want to start jacking up those toes start kicking cans outside or start kicking the walls show me your toes send me a picture and then you know maybe your personality will be scrunched up a little bit the only thing i don't like though is when when nails are not cut i don't know for me that is ugh. i mean toes can be ugly you know but your nails must at least look good if your nails are not shaped and not looked after or buffed or anything like that no baby like when a man has buffed nails and i can see that he looked after his nails when a man's heels are nicely taken care of you know whether he does it himself or he goes to a spa 
Ooh, it is on. I don't even care what your name is. I don't care who you are. If those toes are looking good, we can get married. Set the date, okay? Bring the prenup. Let's sort it out. I think that people who are into toes are extremely intelligent, are very beautiful, are very rich, and lots of good things are coming to them, and all good things and wonderful things are happening for them in their lives forever and ever, and they're beautiful. And they I don't know if any of those things are true, but I don't want to check, you know, just in case they give me some weird shit about people who love toes. So if you do know, the uh, the reason why people love toes just keep it to yourself i don't want to know because i'm really scared because you know sometimes when you think in your head oh you just did something crazy or stupid you wonder hmm is it maybe because of my toe fetish or what we've all had those psycho moments you know but then you just snap out of it come on of course you can't kidnap a baby So yeah, I'm a toe lover and I just wanted to share that with you guys, my fellow toe lovers out there. Okay, so this week's how to is how to get over your ex. Uh, this is something everyone has done, but to the new guys, to the new babies, if you're going through a breakup, I'm going to give you some advice, okay? How to get over your ex, let's do it. Look at your shoe. Let me see. Let me see them toes. Let me see them toes. Toe. <laughs> Before we go, let me show you my my toes. Those are my toes. I got a few bunions, and I'm proud of my bunions. Okay, that's about it. So to the video, up, up, and away. Okay. So how to get over your ex? Let's do it. Huh? So no posting overly sexual sexiness pictures on Instagram we've all been there oh yes the things we've done what I've done Okay, angels, I know breakups are horrible and you will heal from this, I promise you. Um, you have to do the no contact rule. You absolutely have to do the no contact rule. You don't contact him, stay away. Just pretend they don't even exist. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Man. Hey, Brad. So, uh, I was just going to let you know that I will never contact you ever again, okay? Enjoy your life. Have a wonderful life. Bye. Hey, Brad. Uh, so, what are you doing? Hey, Brad. I just wanted to know if, if I left any of my, my uh, G-strings at your house. I know you have a new girlfriend now. And I just want to make sure that, you know, she's not wearing <laughs> my G-strings or anything like that. Hey, Brad. So you didn't come back to me about the G-string thing. If your new girlfriend is wearing it, I'm gonna need it back, you know? Hey Brad, um, so I know it's 3 a.m. in the morning. I just wanted to know if, um, if I can borrow a blue pen. So, um, when you do finally meet, the new girlfriend which you will this is very important okay you have to be very classy and extremely ladylike in this meeting it's very important so just keep it classy all the way hey brad so uh <clears throat> who is this hmm? 
Who is this? Is this who you're replacing me with? Huh? I thought I was irreplaceable. So who who is this? Huh? Who is this little thing who's standing next to you? Huh? Does she have this? Does she have this? Huh? You know you're an ass man. Does she have that? Turn around. Let me see your bum. Huh? Bones. Look at that bones. You're replacing me with bones. Huh? Bones. To like a new city or a new town far away from your ex, you know, where you won't see your ex because out of sight, out of mind, baby. Brad! Brad! Brady boo! Brady boo boo! Brad! Um, I just wanted you to know uh, that I have moved, you know, I have relocated, um, but I've I've moved next to you, so I'm your next door neighbor now. Yeah. So uh, if you need anything, just let me know, and uh, yeah, yeah, we can sort that out. See you, neighbor. Oh, yes. oh. Show your ex how fun your life is without him or her. You know, when stuff like this happens, it happens for a reason. You're supposed to learn a lesson from this. I know it's painful. I know, I know, I've been there. I once healed a broken heart when I, while I was seven months pregnant. So if I can do it, you can do it, you know? So do your thing, move on, start a new life, change is good, everything is going good, get in shape, get new adventures, meet new people, or uh, just, uh, you know, like me, I'm a loner, I enjoy doing all those things by myself, um, redecorating the house, and just a new beginning for yourself, you know? Ah, uh, okay, next! Wow, okay, guess it's time to find me a new one. Let's set up the bait. So that's it for me gam girl is out thank you so much for watching my video how to what was the video's name <laughs> how to get over your ex okay uh this is all jokes but uh, there's kind of if you read in between i'm kind of giving you uh advice as well but with a little bit of comedy mixed in there entwined in our tang okay there we go i see you next week yeah, please like and subscribe if you like my video. Um, and then yeah, give me some uh, how-tos. If you have any new how-tos you want me to do, because I'm good at advice. And I will see you next week. I want to show you guys how bloated I am. Look at that bitch. Look, look. I'm not pregnant. That's just, I'm bloated. PMS week. PMS week. Yeah, yeah. Girls, you know what I'm talking about. PMS week. Yeah, yeah. PMS week.